Hi, so I'm going to talk about GCSE Photography. It is part of the GCSE Art and Design specification, it's just a specialism within that. Um, the course consists of two units of work. First unit is coursework, um, that will be three projects, two of which you will do in year 10, um, and they are normally identity and sense of place. So they're very open and allowing for that personal response. Within that project, you will look at the work of other artists, do some written analysis um, in PowerPoints, and then plan your photo shoots, go out and take some photographs in the style of that artist, and then think about how you're going to develop those, and then into final pieces. So you'll be shown how to use a digital SLR, um, you will be using your phone to take photographs as well, and then editing on Photoshop, and then into some final outcomes. Same thing applies for Unit 2, um, so it's just a project of work, you will start that in Year 11 and that's an exam paper that's given to you with a range of themes, you then select one and you produce a project of work, looking at the artist's work, doing some refining, changing some ideas, taking your photographs and then editing into final pieces. So it's the similar process that you've used for the work that you've done from Year 10, it's that same process, just different themes. It's really important that you actually go out and take photographs, can't stress that enough. Um, don't just rely on doing studio based things, you must go out and take photographs, lots of photo shoots all the time. Um, if you don't like taking photographs then really do consider that because it is a big part of it. I know it sounds obvious but we, we do need you to go out and take photographs. So it will be taking photographs, editing, linking to the work of other artists and then coming up with your personal response. Coursework is 60% of your final grade and your NEA is 40% um, and that will be in April you will do your final exam of year 11. There isn't a written exam, it is just practical but you prepare for your exam leading up to that to a 10 hour practical um, so it is important that you keep up with deadlines right from the beginning of, of, of year 10 and keep putting those hours in every week. So it's no revision, the payback is that you do a little bit every week as we go along. There are after school sessions as well and studios available for you to do that and there's loads of support as you go through the course.